If you've been following along with our Antique Hercules Speed King Path Racer restoration videos, then you'll remember that I said I wouldn't be using the original steel clad wood rims that came with the bike. Instead, I had a set of new wood rims built by Mr. Noah Stutzman out in Ohio. Noah offers wood rims in several styles. If I was going for all out authenticity, I would have opted for one of these tubular style rims or possibly this all wood flat wall clincher rim, which is much like the rims my brother has on his old Claude Delange. But I'm paranoid by nature and I'm planning on doing a lot of riding with this bike. So I went with Noah's wood rims with aluminum hooked inserts. This way the wheels will appear completely authentic from the outside and I won't have to worry about maxing out my dental insurance after a tire unexpectedly blows off a rim at 20 miles an hour. All right, the Stutzman rims have arrived. Let's take a look. Last bit of tape. Well packaged. Tuck that over there. There you go, marked 36 hole Erdo 622 by 19. And you can see the aluminum inserts inside the wood rims, but you can also see that the wood rims are completely unfinished. They're just bare wood. So what we're gonna have to do now is finish them. So this is what I'll be finishing the rims with, uh, pure tongue oil initially. And when you apply tongue oil, you want it to soak into the wood, so you want to dilute it with something like this citrus solvent. Uh, the first coat we're going to go 70% citrus solvent, 30% tongue oil. The second coat will go 50-50, and for the third coat we'll go mostly pure tongue oil. Uh, some people go up to seven or eight coats, I think I'm just going to do three. The tongue oil soaks into the wood, creates a waterproof finish, and it also helps to bring out the grain. After we finish with the tongue oil, I'm going to apply two coats of polyurethane because it's a harder finish and this will help protect the wood from abrasions. All right. All right, let's see. So. And that's thick stuff. Maybe a little more. So we're mixing the tongue oil with the citrus solvent and we're going for a 70-30 mixture. 30 tongue oil, 70 citrus solvent. Having never done this, it's gonna be hard to judge how much you need for one coat of two rims. I know. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, great. I think that's about right. Hope we didn't need that box for anything. <laughs> I'll mix this. I'm using a an old sock to apply this. secret here is they said to apply enough so that it all soaks into the wood and you're left with kind of a glossy buildup. So I'm going to do a couple of coats here. I'm gonna put some on, give it a chance to soak in, and then do another coat. Really is bringing the grain out. All right, over to the second rim.
citrus solvent smells good and it's supposed to be a more eco-friendly way to go with solvent some areas on this that look like they were yeah, already drying. Okay, yeah. I the edge over there looks like I don't know if you missed it or if it's dry, dried already. You can see how the tongue oil really brought out the grain in the wood there and it, this is interesting you can see where Noah joined the wood loop. You can see how he did it. It's interesting. We are done with the first coat of tongue oil. What I need to do now is wait about a week for this to dry. Then I have to very lightly sand it, start on the next coat and so on. Uh, you can see this is gonna take quite a few weeks to finish it even before I get to the final polyurethane coat. But I am very impressed with the way this looks. After just this one coat of tongue oil, it really brought out the grain and this wood really looks beautiful. We'll see you next time, bye bye.